heart and soul of the game is at the boxing voice. Ain't no other sight in the game to see the boxing voice. Sean Zatel, boxing voice here, one of the best heavyweights in the sport. Chris Ariola, what's up, Chris? Chilling, chilling, man. Over here enjoying these fights, enjoying the people, enjoying the crowd, man. It was a hell of a fight tonight, but I overheard you saying you didn't like what Chavez did. Absolutely. You know, you're, you're a son of a legend, man. You're supposed to leave it out in the gym. You're not in the ring. You know, personally, I didn't feel like he did. I, honestly, I don't give a fuck. I fought with a broken hand. I fought with a broken nose. I fought with dislocated elbow. I fought with everything. I won't quit, man. You, there's no quit. You're in, the, you're in the boxing ring. You're in here to entertain all the fans that come out here. That's your job. That's my job. That's everybody's job that steps in the ring is to entertain, not to quit. You, at all, it all doesn't matter fucking if your left pinky hurts, if you're fucking, it doesn't matter. You, you go all out. Personally, I just don't like when a fight stopped like that. But then again, Joe Goosen could have been the one that, caught, that stopped the fighter. Someone else could have been the one that stopped it. But regardless, you got to go all out. Sounds like regardless, you just think that should happen. Because people talk about uh, Chavez doesn't always train the hardest. And, and they've said things about that, you too, but you, you never quit. I'll tell you one thing. I, I'm not the, I don't train the best. I should train a whole lot better. But regardless, I'm getting paid to get in the ring. That's my job, to get in the ring. Regardless whether I train, regardless if I got fucked up last time, regardless if I got a hangover, I got to give the fans whatever the fuck they want. I got to go 10, 12, whatever rounds they want me to go, I'm going because I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid because of the fans. So it's a little discouraging when somebody quits. I've seen a lot of uh, fights. I've seen Mexican fans get upset before, but never like this. Is it because he is Julio Cesar Chavez's son and he represents that name? See, absolutely, man. You know, when, thank you. Got to go to the Cortezes. But absolutely, man, like, you know, when, uh, um, you're the, you're the son. Ask him punching. All right, but for real, like, when you're the son of a legend, man, you got to be out. You got to go, you got to let it all hang out because, you know, uh, his father did it. Why wouldn't he? Well, I guess that's what, you know, said. we got people clapping here. Well said, they well said Ariola. Well, I, I guess that's ultimately what does separate him from his father. Exactly. It's the heart, the courage to go through whatever he has to go to win. We've we seen, we seen uh, his father go through the shit he went through with Major Taylor. He was probably losing every fucking round of the fight. He was. But he didn't fucking give up. That's why he got that knockout. He gave up tonight. And I, personally, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. Are we going to see Chavez Jr. back at this level? Can he be a world champion again? Or this? Of course, because he has a name. Of course he, had, he, he could be back in this level. He has a name. He's a Chavez Jr. You have to be good to win the title. You can get the shot because of your name, but he has to, could he be good enough to come back and make some serious noise against good fighters? Absolutely, but, you know, they got to move him up the right way and get some more wins with a bunch. Tonight was supposed to be like a showcase, right. but it wasn't a showcase for him. It was a showcase for somebody else, and it's, it's pretty fucking, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking because all these fans came here to see him. Fight. And even if he would have lost, to see him the champion, to see him the champion. Even if he would have lost, if he would have been on the shield, a lot of people would have given him a lot more respect. That's what, what I feel. What about the Polish fighter who won tonight, Fonfara? What do you think of him? He came to do what the fuck he was supposed to—to to do a big ass upset and to uh, um, beat somebody. Go ahead, take a picture. Chris. All right. And and last question, Chris. That's there real rude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And last. Gracias, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Last question, Chris. You know, Mayweather Pacquiao. I, I heard you think Mayweather's going to win. How much would it surprise you if Pacquiao wins or gives a hell of a fight? It wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me because Pacquiao, he's, still, he's a great fighter. He's still an elite fighter. That's why the odds are just 2-1. Hey. to one. It's not like a 5-1, 6-1 like most of the fights. Want it to be your it's side. just 2-1. to one. Hey, take a picture. We get a great fight? I hope so. That's what I'm praying for. Hey, thanks a lot, Chris, for your time. Have fun with the fans. Thank you.